usually get up two and a half hours before and getting all the bikes all gassed up, pressures, if we need to do any last minute adjustments to the guys' bikes. Sometimes, you know, they wake up in the morning and they want something a little bit different. Then we just set up basically all the cars. So we'll have a first car with all the spare bikes on spare wheels. And then, yeah, set off to the race. Next thing, we just set up the bikes in front of the truck, but we do the last minute checks. So we check the crit releases are tight. We check that the brakes are centered. SRMs are working and just a general overlook of the bike. And sometimes, like Kirienka for instance, is always saddled down one millimeter or up one millimeter. Um, so yeah, we just do that final check. And then I guess it's to start the race. And our job's to help the DS to make sure, you know, if breakaways are going, because he's obviously taking numbers, we're taking numbers and we work together to make sure that we have that we know what rider's gone in a breakaway and uh, sort of what, where they are in the classification, how close they are to us, or, you know, we're, we're doing that throughout the race. Again, when it's wet weather, there's more chance of crashing because people are grabbing their brakes and, you know, a bit more tentative. Um, but they're generally the most, you know, mechanicals that you'll get, really. You don't generally get a lot of failures. So when the race is done, um, obviously we get the deviation, so we go straight to the bus um, and then we actually set up all the turbo trainers so all the lads can warm down if they choose to. And then we get from the coach and from the director sportive of what equipment the guys want for the next day. So for instance, like tomorrow we have a, you know, pretty, it's a lot of climbing tomorrow. So a few guys are going for like a shallower wheel, like a climbing wheel. And just general upkeep of the bikes, you know, we're always changing brake cables, bar tape, for aesthetics so they always look brand new. Because obviously we clean the cars as well actually. That generally takes usually three to four hours to do it properly, which is what we're all about.